The Galaxy S26 lineup isn't just another yearly refresh, it's Samsung quietly reshaping its flagship strategy for 2026. The leaks are already out, and what's interesting is how Samsung is balancing innovation with restraint. Some upgrades are surprisingly subtle, while others could completely redefine what we expect from their next generation of phones. Hey everyone, James here. Welcome back! If you're enjoying these deep dives into upcoming tech, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and tap that bell icon so you never miss what's next. All right, let's get into it. So here's the deal. The Galaxy S26 Pro, Edge, and Ultra are now in their final testing stages, and new Korean leaks suggest that the hardware is more or less locked in. And if you were expecting massive camera jumps, you might wanna lower your hopes, but not your excitement. Because while Samsung may not be chasing big megapixel numbers this year, it seems to be focusing on smarter image processing and upgraded sensors under the hood. Starting with the Galaxy S26 Pro, this is where the naming twist really starts to show. The Pro label sounds premium, but leaks reveal it's using the same 50 megapixel main sensor, 12 megapixel ultra wide, and 10 megapixel telephoto setup as last year's S25. Even the 12 megapixel selfie camera remains unchanged. It's almost like Samsung is saving the flashy upgrades for the Edge and Ultra models. Still, don't dismiss it just yet. Early reports hint at a brand new 50MP sensor replacing the older GN3, which could deliver sharper shots and better low, light detail, even without higher resolution. Now the real powerhouse, the Galaxy S26 Ultra. If you're expecting a radical redesign here, think again. Samsung seems to be refining rather than reinventing. It'll keep the iconic quad camera layout, 200 MP main, two 5 MP lenses, and a 10 MP telephoto. Sounds familiar, right? But that's where things get interesting. Rumors suggest that Samsung's new image algorithms and upgraded AI processing will make these cameras perform like an entirely new setup. Better portrait depth, smarter HDR, and a boost in night shots are all on the table. And if that's not enough, the Ultra might debut a unique privacy display feature. Something we haven't seen before in any Samsung flagship. But here's the twist. The Galaxy S S26 Edge might actually be the most exciting of them all. It's reportedly replacing the Plus model, and instead of being a simple mid-tier phone, it's stepping up in a big way. The ultra-wide camera jumps from 12 to 50 megapixels, a serious leap for landscape and group shots. It's also said to share the 200 MP main sensor from the Ultra, meaning the Edge could easily blur the line between premium and flagship territory. Design-wise, Samsung's taking a softer turn this year. Leaks hint that the S26 Ultra will lose its sharp, boxy corners for smoother, rounded edges, a move that makes it feel more natural in hand. Some will love the comfort, others might miss that bold, squared look. Either way, it's a subtle but fresh evolution. The Edge and Pro will follow a similar design language, thinner, lighter, and more refined, which should make them look more uniform as a lineup. Powering all three phones will be either the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 or Exynos 2600. Depending on the region, Samsung's been quietly working to close the gap between these chips, so this time, even Exynos users might not feel left behind. And yes, there's a good chance we'll see at least one variant with 16 GB of RAM, something Samsung fans have been waiting for. Battery upgrades are also on the horizon. The S26 Pro is rumored to pack around 4 300 mAh, while the S26 Edge can get close to 4 200 mAh, both slightly higher than their predecessors. Charging speeds, however, might still top out at 25W for these models. The Ultra should continue offering faster 45W charging. It's not groundbreaking, but Samsung seems more focused on efficiency and thermal control than pushing raw wattage. And then there's AI. Samsung isn't just adding more features. It's rethinking how the phone interacts with you. From smarter photo editing and live translation to more natural speech recognition, generative AI will be front and center across all S26 devices. Some insiders say Samsung could even partner with Perplexity AI to make Galaxy devices more conversational and intuitive, though nothing's official yet. Now, here's the big question. Should you wait for the Galaxy S26 series? If you're using an S24 or older, absolutely. The S26 will feel faster, smarter, and smoother across the board. But if you already own an S25 Ultra, you might want to hold off unless you're drawn to the redesigned look and rumored privacy display. The bottom line, the Galaxy S26 series isn't trying to shock the world with flashy gimmicks. It's quietly evolving. Samsung seems focused on refining what already works, improving AI, and fine tuning its design language. Whether that's enough to win over iPhone and Pixel fans remains to be seen. 
But one thing's for sure, 2026 flagship race is about to get really interesting, and we'll be here to cover every new leak, every new reveal, and every surprise Samsung throws our way. So hit that like button if you're excited for the S26 lineup, and stay tuned, because this is just the beginning.